you were the guy and what was kind of the message during during whatever that meeting was um so uh we met um i want to say i think it was last tuesday and um so we all just met with our position coaches and um yeah so um i met with coach and uh he just told me you know that that i'm gonna start and just that um they like the the steps that i took um during camp and you know things like that and just to go out there and um be the guy and just uh bring all those those guys around me just lead and just um to put the ball in the right spots when you say coach you mean gundy or Bruce? yes mm -hmm. okay yes coach gundy and what was your response to him what, what was your reaction and, and your, how did you just let's go coach yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's it <laughs> yeah for sure let's do it you mentioned they were pretty happy with the steps that you take and specifically what, what were those things that you think you kind of most improved on between the start of camp and now I think for sure that um, that um, I just uh, played faster I think I uh, just when I got um, the play call and I came up to the line that um, that um, I kind of just knew where I was gonna go with the ball and just, um, if not there, my next read and um, things like that. So I would just say just that I played fast and then um, I think they um, they also liked that I didn't take too many sacks, so yeah. Was there a point in camp where you kind of felt like you were finally playing fast and kind of felt like that was clicking for you? Um, I wanna say, um, I just felt like, um, kind of just at the start of camp, I just kind of felt like I was playing a lot faster than, than just uh, spring ball and things like that. So um, I would just say, yeah, just at the start of camp um, that I kind of just felt like I was playing a lot faster and that I was getting the ball out of my hand uh, faster and things like that. People have talked, including yourself, that one of your strengths is, is your legs and your ability to make plays, you know, broken plays and such. Do you feel like you haven't really gotten to show your full, because I mean, nobody can hit you in camp. Mm -hmm. so, uh, yeah. Do you feel like you still have so much more to show? Oh uh, yeah, for sure. Um, that's always uh, that uh, that way during you know camp and, and practice and stuff because the um, the quarterbacks aren't live so so you know there are times where um, I might get tagged off and it could be a sack and I kind of try to to fight that like coach oh, that's not a sack and this and that but mm -hmm. um, yeah for sure um, I definitely think that um, there will be plays made uh, with my um, with my legs and my arm as well. So um, I can't uh, wait to show that. Take us back a couple of years ago when, when you're battling for that job and Coach Eck brings in the transfer and all that. Mm -hmm. What, ex how did that experience help you mm -hmm. in this experience uh, um, at all? I would definitely say that it, um, it helped out a lot just because um, this isn't the first time that I've been in a QB competition. So um, I've been here before, you know, and uh, that just helped a whole lot just because um, too, it was just kind of weird. Just we had went through kind of spring ball mm -hmm. and I, I kind of came out on top and then they had brought a guy in and um, I just, I just um, kept, kept my head down and just, um, I just stayed at it and that's all it was. So um, I would just say yeah, that um, it just helped because this wasn't my first QB competition. So I kind of just tried to um, make completions and not take sacks and not turn the ball over. So. Gunderson said your experience was one of the things that they liked uh, about you. All those starts that you've had before, how does that help you when, when you go on the field on Saturday? I think it helps a whole lot um, just because um, I've played in, in a lot of college games before and um, just not um, schools like in the Big Sky and stuff. Um, like I played schools like Cal, Nevada, Washington State, schools like that. So. Um, I just feel like it helps a lot just to um, just to know that game speed and um, just to be able to just go out and play fast. You've gotten to digest a little bit of film so far. What have you seen from Idaho State so far on defense? Um, so far, um, I've seen that they really like to stop the run. So um, yeah, they kind of uh, dive down at times and things like that. So yeah, for sure. How would you describe the running game that you guys have? Um, our running games. It's going to be very good. Um, uh, yeah, um, I'm just super excited to see uh, Hank and Jam. Um, those guys can make plays and make guys miss. So I'm just excited just to get the ball in their hands and just see what they can do, really. Yeah. yeah. Was there a, a point in camp maybe when you kind of you reached that comfort level and you kind of started to look around and you're like, this is my team? Like where you kind of finally felt that. Yeah, like, for sure. When was that? Um, I, I, mean, I would honestly probably say like maybe like, Sometime after um, we scrimmaged, yeah, like, the, yeah, mm -hmm, yeah, for sure. Um, I just kind of felt like 
it was just all started to to just start to come together and things like that. So um, yeah, I'll probably say around there. Is that making plays? Is that knowing personnel? Is that knowing the, the playbook or all of it? Or like what, what led you to that point? It's all of it, honestly. Um, just, yeah, just to know the playbook, the personnel that were in the formations. Um, and um, yeah, it's just, yeah, it's just all that stuff, honestly. What's the significance of the lion? Um, the lion, honestly, I probably had this since like, for like years now. So I probably it's like my freshman in high school, but yeah. um, probably um, King of the Jungle. Yeah. Yeah, so. Did someone give it to you? No. Um, you by yourself? Yep. Yeah. All right, anything else? Thank you. Thank you, guys.